Some people risk their lives trying to get into the EU, where they hope to get asylum. Their numbers have risen again, especially since the Arab Spring and the unrest in Syria. But when refugees reach the EU's borders, they're often in for a true reality check. For instance, when they land in Bulgaria. This is a hostel for asylum seekers in Sofia. Migrants from the Middle East, Africa and other regions wait here until their asylum applications are processed. At this time, there are 400 people here. They're the lucky ones. Not everybody makes it to Sofia. Many are stopped close to the border, like these Iraqis, and put in detention centers. This, I'm this very happy if I go to Sofia tomorrow. Very happy. Because I not call my family in Iraq, my mother and my sister and my brother one month, because I not have telephone and SIM card here. This detention center in Lyubimets, close to the Turkish border, is like a prison. It opened a year ago. Border police lock up new arrivals. The reason? The migrants cross the border illegally. They are only released and allowed to go to Sofia once they've made an asylum application. But the procedure is complex. Very few manage to fill out the forms without help from migrant associations. Bulgaria is rejecting more and more people after a rise in new arrivals fueled by the conflict in Syria. I was a soldier in Syria and I was deployed against my own people. My conscience would not allow me to shoot at innocent civilians, that's why I'm here. I was sentenced to death as a deserter at home. But instead of the freedom they hope for, many migrants arriving in Bulgaria are disappointed. We're locked up here. We have no contact to the outside world. I've been here for five months and I still have no idea what's going to happen to me. I'm suffocating here. Why do they treat us like this? There's no privacy in Lyubimets. The inmates are under constant observation. And the director would prefer it if the migrants left Bulgaria as soon as possible. Many people who cross the border illegally apply for asylum in Bulgaria. But they don't want to stay here. They want to go on to Western Europe. Others go back to their home countries because they are discouraged by their experiences here. As a member of the European Union, Bulgaria is required to offer an ordered and humane asylum process. Holding asylum seekers in prison is against the law. The authorities justify it by saying there isn't enough room in refugee camps. But that's not true. The truth is that the authorities are trying to deter asylum seekers. That's against EU laws, which state the first member country migrants arrive in is responsible for them. So the police try to prevent them from crossing the border. I don't know where they come from, but they come all the time. I caught three of them here yesterday. Most migrants come into Bulgaria from Turkey. The authorities in Sofia say they aren't responsible for the situation. I have no idea what happens to the refugees at the border. And I don't know where they're kept. That's the job of the border police. The refugees who make it to the asylum seekers' hostel in Sofia are not in prison. But they don't feel welcome here either. And that's maybe why they want to continue traveling west in the search for a life and dignity.